Uh, what we're trying to do here, what we are doing, is capturing stormwater runoff, which normally ends up by going from the roof to the gutter, out into the driveway and into the street, and into your local stream. Instead, we're capturing that rain and soaking it up in a rain garden. And a rain garden is a depression. Most people think of gardens as, as either level with the ground or even raised. We're creating a depression and putting in native bushes Mountain laurel, red osier, dogwood, inkberry, low bush blueberry, other good varieties for habitat and birds. The depression that we want to end up with ultimately is about six to eight inches deep. And like he said, we want to have that bottom fairly flat. So there's an area for that water to pool and then to sink down into the ground. So the pipe's going to come into the garden at this point here. So this soil has got to be moved out. We're going to use some of it on the berm. We probably will have too much, so some of that will get pushed into the woods, what we don't need. And then the plants will get planted in that, in that base that we have excavated. All right, right now we are starting to dig the rain garden. We're taking the uh, sod off the top first, because we're going to reuse it and plant it on the berm down below. All of these are native to Connecticut. This is the mountain laurel, and mountain laurel is the state flower of Connecticut. Right, today we're at the beautiful home of the Kahn family in Southington, and we are planting a rain garden. Hi guys. Hi. Um, so let's just uh, hear a little bit about um, why you guys chose to do this at your yard. Um, well, I think that we have such a, a nice, natural yard. I think that anything we can do to help benefit the environment and help our yard and help everybody um, and the groundwater and I just think that's important. So. Great. Connecting the gutter downspout here. Um, the little connector, we're going to bring this down 90 degree, send it into this pipe, and bring it down to the other guy. So our last step to the rain garden after we get all of our plants in is to put a nice layer of shredded bark mulch down. Well, anything real big chunks of nuggets is what you don't want because they will float up when water comes in and they'll move out. So the, the type of mulch is important. You want a nice shredded hardwood mulch or uh, spruce mulch is okay, hemlock's okay as long as it's finely shredded. So what that'll do, that'll go on the bottom. It'll help keep the moisture in and I uh, hope the plants get a good start and it'll also help keep the heat. <laughs> Go! Go. 